racing to the 2021 Kentucky Derby and this time let's take a look at the speed figure analysis we've already taken a lo early look at the pace analysis of the Kentucky Derby and a lot of times people will ask the question who is the fastest horse coming into the Kentucky Derby and as with all things in life the answer is it depends. So we're going to take a look at some of the different speed faker makers, talk about how they're maybe computed and how you can use that to factor into your Kentucky Derby handicapping. Because again, there's some racing truisms. It's not how fast your horse runs. It's how hard he runs fast and how, how far can he go at that speed and things like that. Starting off with the buyer speed figures coming into the Kentucky Derby. Now these are the most common speed figures that are usually quoted. They're the industry been around in the industry a long time developed by Andy Beyer a former writer with the Washington Post and he developed speed figures and what this is supposed to do is supposed to account for the speed of the track on an individual day and what it does is it balances out so that way you can compare distance to distance and track to track to come up with a number so a 100 at Santa Anita is better than a 95 at Belmont and the track surface has already been computed in but as we all know different surfaces can favor the front runners and closers and pace analysis so buyer doesn't involve a lot of pace so the fastest speed figure according to buyer is rock your world Santa Anita Derby a 100 but hot rod Charlie got a 99 in the Louisiana Derby Medina spirit people are forgetting about him Robert Lewis a 99 now he doesn't seem to be improving so again that's where you've got to factor in current form and can they improve from that speed figure or maintain that figure speed figure at the 10 furlong distance sometimes horses at shorter distances can get a high speed figure and they can't keep that up for the mile and a quarter of the kentucky derby now brisnet has kind of a three horse photo here with the top speed figure a 102 for essential quality rock your world sanity derby a 102 now highly motivated's 102 that was at a shorter distance and that was as a two-year-old so that's where you've got to kind of factor in the distance when they got it normally you want a horse kind of on the upswing for the kentucky derby and you want it at a longer distance nine furlongs or a mile and a 16th heading into the Kentucky Derby. That's why Char uh, Hot Rod Charlie's 99 buyer is interesting because he did it at a mile and a 3 16 on the front end. Uh, known Agenda also a 101. Now Time Form US is the one that has kind of come in recently in the last few years and over the years I've kind of seen them being the most accurate speed figure because what they do is they account for pace of the race and they also account for a little bit uh, not totally in there with uh, how wide they are in the turns although they're starting to incorporate pace and they've always factored in i think brisnet factors in a little bit of the class of the race whereas time form factors in a little bit more pace analysis into the race so time form has this as a 124 for rock your world and they have him pretty much winning you know if you were to strictly go by form a, a six point edge over essential quality might be a length a length and a half uh, uh, so that's a substantial uh, speed figure for Rock Your World in the Santa Anita Derby. Essential quality with a 118, Hot Rod Charlie up there. Now King Fury, he may not get into the race, but his Lexington was a good race, but also that was in the slop. So again, you have to factor in when and where in the conditions of the race. Super stock got a 116 for the Arkansas Derby. Now I always try to look at it, who's gonna run a career best and usually that's under five races coming into the Derby. They probably have a higher likely chance of running a career best, or they've kind of ran back to back the same race, what they call a pairing. So a lot of times a horse will run a 99, a 99, and then they'll jump forward, or they'll run an 80, and then an 81, and then they'll jump forward to an 85. So what I'm looking for for potential career bests here in the Derby could be essential quality. I think he's had an easy go of it in the Southwest Stakes in the slop off a layoff. Then the last time out, he had a hard battle at a mile and eighth on the bluegrass. But I do think third off a layoff this year and a six lifetime race, he could pop a new top. But again, he's only got a 97, so that might only be 100, and that might not be good enough. A known agenda, 
Uh, since adding Blinker, it seems to be a different horse. Now, I don't know if he can pop a career best, but I think he can maintain his Florida Derby form, and that might be good enough. And Soup and Sandwich with just three lifetime races and one stakes race, I think he's sitting on a career best. Now, the track bias, Florida Derby favored closers. The Bluegrass Stakes favored speed that day, and the Wood favored closers. So factor that in. Verbonic uh, had a pace advantage, a, a track bias advantage coming from behind that day on that slow surface. Now, the horses who would benefit, I think, running on the front end in this race, Hot Rod Charlie, Midnight Bourbon, and Concert Tour. Uh, pace will definitely be a factor in this race. Now, Concert Tour isn't 100% confirmed yet for the Kentucky Derby. And a fast pace, I think, could benefit Hot Rod Charlie because he has the ability to lay off the pace if he wants to, like he did in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Essential quality, dynamic one, and known agenda also, th I think, benefit if it's a fast pace. They can sit in that mid-pack position. When you have that 20-horse field, a lot of times you want to be sitting in that six to 10th place rather than in that first over trip when it's a moderate pace, which some of the winners recently have gotten. Nyquist, Always Dreaming, American Feral laying off the speed of a, a firing line on the front end. So that's a look at who the fastest horse in the Kentucky Derby is. Again, it all depends on how they come into the race, what distance they got that speed figure, and what speed figure service you are using. So Bayer, Timeform, and Brisnet, all with different computations on how their speed figure is calculated. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the trainer report, the jockeys in the Kentucky Derby coming up. Also, another look at the Oaks this week as we get closer to the 2021 Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby. Which speed figures do you think are the most accurate? Which horses do you think can run a career best race in the 2021 Kentucky Derby? Leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell as we lead you up to the 2021 Kentucky Derby.